Let's go here. And let's castle. And push this pawn, open up the bishop a little bit. Hmm, okay, let's put an extra ray through to the queen. Bring this back. Putting a two on one onto this pawn. So he's attacking the bishop, so I think we'll, we'll take with the bishop then. And then, ooh, didn't see that, did I? So basically, the potential, I didn't look at the full potential of that, but then we do have his knight here with our queen so we'll take here so that's a good potential so that was like an after an after potential check realizing that the knight was there sometimes i mean the move we move that fast we can't really see the full potential of everything knight could come here but then obviously the bishop will take uh, ooh, yeah, let's go here. I was thinking of this then. So now he's going for the exchange. I'm going to actually go for it. We're actually plus two off, out of all of that, you know. Let's um, put a check on the king, grabbing a palm, and bring this knight back here. Plus three now. That's quite amazing. So looking at the potential, obviously we didn't do that in the early part of the game, but because we have it in our mental roller text, knight can come here and attack the bishop. Yeah. Because I am thinking, I've only just started looking at that aspect, you know, because I've been look, focusing on calculation, calculation. But really, there's a different element to the calculation. And it is the potential for further, further um, advancements. He's got my my rook. Mistimed that, didn't I? Should have just taken his bishop. Then I would have been on his rook. Ah, oh, too busy chit chat, chit chat again. Okay, no problem. We were plus two, but now we're going to be minus one or something now. Equal, it's equal, it's equal. Yep, so be a bit mindful. Should have gone up, and I would have been a, I've been able to take his rook off the board, but we missed a trick there. And simply just take the bishop, easy trade down. Let's just bring the rook across here, and he's got a double attack on here. I'm not sure. I'll if my time would have been spent attacking that area myself. Let's just put a check on the king here. Okay, and uh, let's attack the rook. It's getting a bit tense now. I think he will, mind you, his, his rook's under attack, isn't it? So he has dropped, so if we took this then that would be like a back rank checkmate wouldn't it? And if we did that, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push this pawn up. And still going to take, because he's not going to get a back rank checkmate from this. So I'm fairly happy with that. And I think we could just move the king up. Okay, so he's looking for a bit of a sidewinder. 
putting pressure onto this pawn and this pawn. So we could move our cells, but it's still going to be on the pawns. Is there anything my super duper knight can do? I have to bring my rook all the way back. It's a bit annoying, you know, you think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm advancing. But I'll bring the rook back. So if I want to advance in my chess play, I've got to learn to be patient and do the slow moves, the moves that are nice and basic. Looking to trap my king in somehow. Stop my king from getting to here so that he can bring his rooks somehow. Let's put it in the line of fire for our knight, but his rook can take. Which suggests that this rook might be in trouble. So he can come here attacking his rook, he comes up. Yeah, they're not properly linked out of them rooks at the minute. Mm -hmm. let's, at oops, let's attack the rook. They're planning to squish my king. So he's going to have to come here to do that. But he's going to go here first. Yep. So he goes there. He's not going to squish my king. His rooks aren't linked up properly, so we'll go here. And he's trying to link them up. He's looking for little pawn moves here, but he's not going to get a checkmate playing that way. So we're going to bring the knight across, which is all good for us. We just want him to move this a little bit so we could come here. He's not going to do that yet because he's focused on getting a checkmate. Oh, that's uh, going to come around the back now for their king. This is going to come down, but then he loses the rook. So they're probably kicking the cells now, thinking, I thought I had them, I've got the two rooks and I'm ready to go. Okay, so if we just put the check on the king here, squish him in a bit. And where's my knight's magical fork? Not quite there yet, is it? Attacking the rook here. I think he's going to look to exchange the rook off, isn't it? going to come across here, yeah, which suggests there's a bit of panic in the game. Mm, let's go here, attack this pawn. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. He takes... But he takes, and he's not in a good position. Come on. Let's do this. One. Squish his king. Two. Where's my fork? He's going to hide here. We want him to go up, but he's not going to do that. Oh, and that must be it. Oh, close but no cigar. Damn, I thought I had it. Oh, don't you love those rook and knight endings? Oh, I thought I had it. Right, let's focus on the potential for the knight. This king could take our rook, so we need to be steady. Yeah, there's no forks at the minute. Can take there, but he's going to take our rook. Um, let's go here. Time wise, 1 minute 58. It's got to check on the king, but again, it's not fruitful for them. And this is support. That pawn was supporting. Look at those rooks that are all close together. 
There's got to be a fork somewhere. Obviously, we're not taking there. We'll take here. A brook has got to put a check on. Because we're creating havoc. Got a nice flexible knight, just need to get it just in that pinpoint position <coughs> of a lovely fork, and then the game's over. He's gone for the check the other way. What is he fashioning? Yeah, that'll work. Let's go here. He's trying to do some sort of stepladder thing, but um I don't think they're in the right position because they're not queens. We must get a fork. Oh, we must get a fork. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. It's only a matter of time. Beautiful. Let's. Oh, and we get it for free as well. Oh dear. Coming down for the. Let's go here. Oh, wow. We did say we were going to be set. Oh, he's trying to lock me in, though. He's trying to lock me in. Let's go here. I've got no pawns left. Uh, dun, dun, dun. So he's the only one that's got something. Oh, we need to be steady here. Oh, time wise. Time wise, check on the king. Need to go hunting for this piece. Oh, I had a thing. Oh, he noticed. He just noticed. Oh, I had a thing. I had a fork. I missed it. He's offered a draw. Well, could take the draw. I don't think it's a draw. I think he's struggling. But he's got two minutes. I've only got 44 or something seconds. Can't believe I've missed that fork. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's so tricky, isn't it? 31 seconds. Oh, and they've resigned. Yay! Okay, so let's just uh, push through the center here. Develop the knight. And let's block off this fried liver type cheap stuff that keeps kicking around. Let's grab. Push here. Develop for the castle. And castle, king safety. Yeah, I have set the webcam, but it's not actually showing up anywhere. Unless, of course, I'm missing something. Yeah, interesting.
So the knight is currently blocking their queen for a moment. Can we take advantage of that? Mm, let's attack this bishop. And now his bishop's blocking his queen as well. Must be a loss of a few small tempi there. But how can we take advantage of it? I'm going to bring the queen here. Oh, he's moving fast, so he's definitely going for his little fianchetto. Could attack the queen, just drops the pawn. Makes him do something he doesn't want to do. Let's attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Aha, so let's take it off the board. And let's see if he wants to exchange. He's probably doing this. No, he's bringing the knight into the game. Okay, could bring the rook across, facing here. That's what I'm going to do. Moves the queen, escapes out, attacking the pawn here. That's got no protection on. Could push the pawn, or could bring the queen back again. Let's bring the queen back. Let's attack in the night. Could physically push there onto the queen, a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. He has to do something, doesn't he? He either takes or he moves the queen. If he takes, then we take with the pawn. Okay, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It can't be wrong. Okay, and I suppose if we take here, looking for the exchange again. Okay, so yet again, not wanting to exchange the queen. So we could chase the queen around, and a bit like um, maybe the other player that was dancing all over the place, and they eventually ended up squishing their own queen because they got carried away with a check on our king, but then their queen was left all hung and dry. So I'm going to just bring the queen here, attacking the queen again. He's definitely not wanting to do any of that. What he's doing is he's targeting this pawn here. So if we then chase him again, he comes down and attacks the pawn. So I'm actually going to bring the bishop here attacking. Also, the rook is attacking, so maybe the rook is going to take because he's got a check on our king. <sighs> Yep, so grab here. So now he wants to exchange. He's feeling the heat. Well, what if I don't want to exchange? Is there something better for us? Knight's protecting that square. Um, I think we'll just take, thank you very much. Bishop now is looking to double our pawn here. We want to get our rook here attacking this pawn. So I don't mind him. He's not got a check on our king. 
So I'm going to bring the rook here attacking the pawn. So I think the fear of doubling pawns can prevent you from really opening your game up. Like we said, okay, so we grab. Okay, so he's had to make a move he didn't want to make, and we still win the pawn anyway. So this rook doesn't want to stay in that corner, so potentially moving here. I'm not sure about that particular move. I mean, he's attacking this pawn here. Um, we can bring our rook down. Or we could sacrifice that pawn by just attacking here. Or we could x-ray through to his rook. Because at the minute we're plus one. So if we came here, and then if his knight takes, but then he'd be able to take our bishop. So that probably wouldn't work. So it's a good job that we've talked it through. So we can bring the rook here. Where else is he looking to go then after that with his knight? Let's bring the rook here. Three minutes left. Still have sights of potentially bringing the bishop here with the diagonal through. Okay, so let's continue with that for now. He's probably going here with his rook. Knight, sorry. brought it back so we do have a discover check on his rook but it's not anything meaty because we don't have anything we can attack the pawn yeah let's attack the pawn because then the rook has to move so we can take the pawn but obviously she may get a good position oh he's gone there instead okay let's grab here i thought he might have tried to come down here and the knight has dropped down he's got the pawn at last okay let's bring the king across it's a pawn for a pawn he's on our bishop now he's going a bit crazy he's potentially feeling like he may have lost out somewhere so if we bring the bishop here still plus one He's charging down. So if we come here with our rook, does he have a fork? Actually, no, we can't really do that because we go here, then he drops his pawn, he's protecting. So I suppose we could come here. This king's on a white square. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could push this pawn up just to block that pawn from coming down yeah why not so he's trying to get this promoted <laughs> yeah, he might do you never know let's see how it goes Okay, so he's making space for, we could put a 2 on 1, but he's got a 2 on 1 there. So if we come around now and attack the knight. Comes around and attacks the pawn. Hmm, I'm trying to attack the pawn. Then the rook can come down here. Okay, let's attack this knight. Right, we're on 1 minute 14. We're going to have to move fast now. So 
It comes down for the poor. Oh, we can't go there because his knight is protecting that square. Oh. Okay, so we've lost the pawn. Drat. So I suppose maybe we can come here. If he drops down, we can come here. We've got a 2 on 1 on this pawn. But then he's still going to have a 2 on 1 there. Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, man. Let's come here. Pawn drops, protecting back to that same position. Ah, oh, give me strength. Let's go here. 59 seconds. So we we'll have to try and make their time burn down somehow. all they're focusing on is the oh please leave your king there then we get his rook off the board please 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 oh, he has done as well Oh, and they've left the game and um, we're ready we're warmed up now so let's um, kick it in and see what we can do okay let's go Castle, King Safety. I feel like attacking the bishop here. Okay, they're moving really quick. It's not bully, is it? When they move that quick, it's like falling into a set play thing. So I'm just looking to see what it is that they're so rushy about. Hmm. I don't see it. Maybe it's a stealth attack of some sort. Do, do, do. Power driving these moves out. It's got no protection, but I can't do nothing about it now until I move this knight. And do I really want to actually? Because his rook's just going to come through there. See, there's no point doing this because the rooks are going to come there because I'm looking for a two on one here, but it's not going to allow my queen to just sit there. Mm. Mm hmm.
Hmm. Interesting game. Okay. Have a look at the analysis on that. Okay, so the opponent pushed through with the pawn. It felt a little bit odd after this. This is normal, that's normal. Yeah, I think it was them leaving the bishop here and then bringing the, that other bishop in. So it felt odd, but gauge bars on their side on this one. And we didn't really know what to do from this point on because... At this moment in time, there was nothing major that I had available to attack. And it didn't look like the opponent did either. So I thought, well, might as well try and block the knight from jumping to this square or something. Just a small move, just to see what the opponent did. Then they castled. So then they had the power base with their rook facing my queen. So I felt a little bit congested. I really didn't really feel like I got out of the blocks, really. There wasn't anything meaty for me, so I thought I'm going to have to wait to see what the opponent does, see if there's any holes in their armour. So when I started pushing the pawns down, I thought, potentially going to ignore them and see if we can focus on their king side. So we start developing up. Um, so I have no fear of the pawns that they were pushing down. It was just a matter of, well... I was playing with this idea here, you know, putting a two on one here like that, but that was the extreme. But I did know, in my head, I said, well, these aren't really going to trouble me, but they could trouble me if, I, if I'm not aware of them. So they came down, so then we pushed forward, gauge bars on white side here, you know, so it's like it's sort of proving the point that, well, I didn't really have anything. It all depends on what the opponent does. And they need to make an error. So when they captured, I thought, oh, that was a, in my head. I thought that might have been a little bit of an error with them capturing. Um, I thought they were going to bring their pieces in, supporting the attack towards the king's side. But it then seemed to weaken it a little bit because they did capture. So that was my glimmer of hope. And then the knight coming in and attacking. Um, Gage by and they're almost out and out winning there. But I felt that we're going to now start owning this file on the F. I thought this was going to be a, a, quite a nice little balance for us because his pieces weren't going to be... Unless, of course, he moved his rooks and started, you know, trying to own that file. He was going to be behind. So, we've developed through. Oh, Gage Bar's kicking in for us here. Um, put a fork on the bishop and the queen and that's when it felt like they were getting really sort of strong here so we attacked and now we can attack again so basically we can take the knight off the board at this point and then take, get this queen off the board and try to make sure that we could try and maybe utilize the advantage that we got didn't really want to lose the advantage in any way so the opponent's throwing out attacks, he's trying to get these pawns down, so we're trying to get rid of them. And we're looking at back rank, I'm not a back rank checkmate, I'm saying let's get this rook off the board and reduce down as best possible. So basically just reducing, making sure that my king had a flight square, which was here, because this pawn is in a beautiful spot, just there. So they come in and at this point, in time, it really is a matter of just cleaning house and pushing the pawn. Just keep pushing. And the opponent carried on. Looking for that stalemate area, so you have to be very aware of that sort of thing. Can I click it? Yes. So we've had three warm-up matches, and we've played some anonymous matches, and then back into the swing so hopefully fingers crossed we can treat this one as the final you know this is the grand championship game.
no pot. This is the dancing night. He's all over the top with this night. What is he planning? Get my night. to defend. <laughs> <laughs>